Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday. Well, according to my thermometer, it's 38 degrees outside, so that's right around, I think, 3 Celsius. But according to the weather app, the Franz app, it's 35 and 1 degree Celsius. Plan today is to take all this out, take all this down, put everything away, because it's getting cold out now and uh, get everything sorted away for summer. So, sad to see it go. But at the same time, don't want this getting heavy snow on it and ruining it. It did a really good job this year. And uh, very glad for my weights that I, that I purchased on Amazon. Those bad boys were a savior because other people lost their canopies and uh, ours is still standing. I'm probably going to get the trimmer out and cut down there one last time. I'm going to take the fencing down in sections and get everything out of here leaf-wise and debris-wise. Blow it over the bank. Once I'm done cutting that, then I'll just blow everything down over with my blower and my trimmer. Because we get a lot of leaves. So, And with this stuff here... I can't, it, it, it stops a lot of stuff from getting through the fence, which is good, but uh, yeah. So that's a game plan today. Terry's actually going out to surplus, and I'm just going to stay home with the doggies, take them for a walk. So, trying to figure out my cameras and get set up here in a little bit. Uh, but if I pull the fence out down and along here, I can get all the leaves and everything out. Uh, I really like having this like ivy thing here, so I want to kind of try to save that. Unfortunately, on this side, when I went to pull the uh, power cord for the basset hound out front, I ripped a bunch of it out because uh, it was all wrapped up in it, so I don't know. But yeah, we just need to get it cleaned up. Going to hold on to this rug for the winter. Um, want to get a new one, but I missed my opportunity a couple years ago to get one on clearance at Walmart. They're... Uh, they're not the cheapest. All they are is like for an RV. It's an RV uh, rug for outside. So, I mean, it's designed for what it's doing. But, yeah. So that's game plan for today. Uh, I'm going to try to edit these uh, audio files because I don't have the mics on here. I seem to be having slight little issues at the beginning of clips where it's a little bit low and then it picks up. But I keep playing with the gains. And I think I'm going to bring it back up. I think I remember Danny Black saying plus five, plus five. That's why I had it set that way. Um, so I'm going to readjust that today as well. Just trying to figure out, because I gave Tim my one um, tripod, one of the Manfrotto's. Just trying to figure out, because I kind of want to have multiple angles. Because when I do this, for those that are new to the videos, um, the whole shed will get completely emptied out. Um and cleaned out first so I bring everything out of there so I want to have a camera in there for that and then maybe set one of the cameras up uh, I mean I have the four and the five in the pocket three just a matter of figuring out how I'm gonna stick something where so I don't know I might see the bears were playing with shepherd's hook that's what the bear was standing up at or was he down here further because he was closer to this because right there is the camera he that heat rubbed against. So, I don't know. But well, we haven't seen him <clears throat> check cameras again last this morning when I got before I started filming. And no bears again last night. So that's good news. Um, hopefully they've moved on up into the woods and they're not down in here anymore because it's, it's a little frightening with the dogs. Um, yeah. But oh, sorry. I woke up at. Uh, my, my, when my alarm would have gone off had I had it set, I turned everything off last night with cramp in the back of my right leg, which felt fantastic. So, so I got up, made pot of coffee, edited the video. It's, is it exported? Yeah, it's exported. So I got to get that uploaded. Um, and then like five o'clock, I'm like dozing back off. So from 3.40 until five, I was up and I'm doing this. I'm like, okay, laid back down and now it's eight. 820 so I think I needed a little bit of extra extra sleep since I didn't get it the other night alrighty we are on the action 5 come on 
Tim said maybe next check he'll have the rest. So I got to hurry up and get that door ordered. <sighs> Do some more saluting, see if they try to get the best price, but the fastest delivery. I mean, if they were inexpensive, I would get extras, but the door from the four seems to hold way better on the five. So leave it as is for now. It's nice outside. Don't get me wrong. I mean, blue skies and uh, maybe a tiny little breeze, but I figured I wanted to get the Action 5 out to see the uh, foliage with this. I'll tell you what, with this brighter display, this thing shows a lot better. Good little man out though. Come on. Yeah, I got to water this tree dead. We ain't making our way around. So something I found out last night, if you look at the last picture on the uh, Pixel, is I was in the playground and I was able to get that tree. Now granted the pool house is still in kind of in the way. I shot up above it, but it does give me a, a longer shot of the tree on this side that we walk under normally. So on the way back up through, I think we'll hit the playground. But so far from what I can see, I am definitely getting some decent color of, of the foliage. I can actually see it on this screen because it's at least the back screen. The front screen's probably slightly smaller than the Pocket 3. So I might actually have to switch over to ProRes 30 with the iPhone. I have it set up. Um, it is, uh, and I have the mics on the outside right now because I feel like putting them under a heavy sweatshirt is really muffling me out. And I did turn the gain back up to plus five uh, on the uh, on the phone's mic, so. Maybe future updates. I don't even know. I'll have to check and see if the mic 2 has any updates. Right underneath this tree. Yeah. Of course, right now is a better time than when I've been walking in the afternoon because the sun is coming from this direction versus coming from straight at me. So I'm getting a much better lighting scenario right now. And we got boom boom. I don't see him. Oh, there it goes sure what that was. All right, life flight. Good news is the uh, mics did actually, or the shift cam connected today. So, well, since we're underneath this tree, let's see what ProRes does in 24 frames per second. And then I'll get the, we'll stop up here and I'll get the uh, action back out. Heard the helicopter and heard it up here, pulled the iPhone. I was like, you know what? Let's switch this over. Like I just said, I get a little more uh, detail in 30 and 24. And back to the action five. All right. Get a little wider lens with this. Oh, man, that 3D graphic place, they use such harsh, whatever, they're, whatever material they're using, it just stinks. A very vulgar smell. <clears throat> Okay, I'm kind of aiming at the sun here, but the way it's hitting these leaves from the backside lights everything up nicely. Oh, yeah. See that? This tree still, in certain times, it looks like it's really colorful, and then other times it's kind of not. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe when we get around to the other side here, because the sun's kind of hitting it right here. Tails are you confused right now. Yeah, there's our angle. Yeah, I can be way, way closer with the with the action. Now, now I've used like the ultra wide lens. So, okay, we got foliage. Now, walk little dog. Walk the little dog. What do you think, little dog? And he's like, uh, I don't know. It's chilly out here. I, I mounted the. Uh, well, I can spin the con the remote around. When I put the mount back on this, I put it the wrong way. I have, it should be the logo should be facing away from the remote, but I can spin it. Either way, I can use it. Yeah. Oh, Tim said to me, he goes, so you really think I should get the remote? I was like, if you're going to do a lot of videoing with it, I, I mean, I would eventually invest in it personally. Um, for me, it's just so much simpler to self for me to self-edit because that's what I do. And these things are a savior. <laughs> My hands are not cold. And I charged them, so now they're actually putting out some decent heat on low setting. I accidentally turned it on to the second setting last night, and my hand was actually starting to burn. And I showed our one neighbor them because she's out walking all the time. I was like, hey, just to shut. I was like, I got these last year. She's like, ooh. 
She goes, I don't like wearing gloves. So this way you can just put them in your pockets and just warm your hands up. You don't have to wear gloves. I mean, there's times you should because, especially doing this, having, you know, having that wind blow on your hands when it's like, you know, in the 20s and 10s, not good for your skin, so. I wonder what's going on over here. You got a whole bunch of Verizon trucks and they're blocking the road. Huh, weird. Gee, maybe we'll get a new 5G tower. It's really weird because certain spots around the complex here, I get ultra wide, then I get 5G, and then in the house I have like no bars. <clears throat> I don't understand if it's the construction of the buildings from 1972 that's blocking the cell signal, but <clears throat> yeah, that's, ooh. Get a good one of this tree here because it's lit up by the sun from the other angle. <clears throat> Sorry, it's one of those mornings where everything's rusted in my chest. Well, I guess on the 22nd, Insta 360's uh, announcing the Ace Pro 2, and their, their tagline is, We'll show you what Pro really is. Something like that. I'm like, yeah, but you're Insta360, so how pro can it really be? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I still am baffled by the cheapness of the flow and then their whole don't sell it's a sponsored ad or a sponsored video to make it seem more legit. It just drives me insane. Don't get me wrong, I'm really pissed off at DJI right now about this whole port door uh, pricing and inability because it's probably one of the most lost pieces of the cameras and this is the first time I lost it I am still baffled of how I did it you know because I am usually come on Mateo Whoop, hold on car 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 I mean considering the fact that that door falls off every time I unplug it from the computer which the fours never did, and this definitely locked in a much tighter than the one that came on the five. So I think it was a defective door to begin with. Hold on, my ADD just kicked on my beautiful dead tree. Now, if there were some clouds behind that, that'd be even better. But that's still pretty. I can still screen grab that bad boy. Yes, I can, Mateo. Want to go around the other side? Get our trees from this angle, but then, yeah, the sun's probably going to screw me up here a little bit. Yeah, so, hopefully, this door definitely has been staying, I mean, I've only had to plug it in, I think, twice since, uh, no, I guess I just did it to save all the dry footage. I am going to put together just a drive video from Sunday, because um, it has been requested by Jesus, who loved to see it, so I'm going to post it. Uh, it's probably going to be a long one, even though it's going to be eight times speed. My biggest problem is I don't have enough music for it. So I don't know how I'm doing that. All right, so this one's lit up nicely right now. <clears throat> Little dog. And then the sun's kind of in my way here. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm not getting the one I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting the one over there. I'm getting the one right here. Oh, and actually, because I'm getting into the shade, it's lit up pretty nice. But yeah, that's the, so that was the one I actually took a picture of. So it's the one on this side. I was thinking it was that one. It was dark and I was concerned about bears. And then, then we got that maple tree. Yeah, Terry left and I just brought one dog at a time, so. Figure give them their separate little outings here this morning. I think we're just going to do the bottom half right now because then I'm going to start on the uh, patio. Video is uploading. So I got the four, the five, I got two different tripods. I got the iPhone, got the Pocket 3. We'll get it. And there is the one that we filmed on the way past the apartment complex that I now learned that I can get the backside of, which I probably already knew. It's just a new year. You want to get over to south side at some point tim said it was not changing yet which is kind of surprising they are kind of slow sometimes there it goes geez the remote didn't want to work there for a minute been idle for a little bit i just wanted to get these ones here quick 
forget about these trees, which is basically these three right there. Okay, come on, we're not going, we're gonna go around. Sister needs her exercise too, little man. He's like, I'm good. He got loved by maintenance, so he's happy dog. He loves his buddy Chuck. <laughs> Come on, princess, your turn. She's so enthused to go for a walk. She's like, I'm good. I'll just go upstairs. Come on, let's go. Let's go get some fresh air. Come on, let's go get some fresh air. Come on. She's like, all right, fine. Yeah, here we got the little fireplace going. Looks like we got extra heat down here this morning. So, I mean, it's it can be decorative or it can actually heat. So, works out nice. Takes the chill off. Come on, this way. Let's go. Never messing around. Let's hurry up and get this done. I got work to do. Alrighty. Got set back up on the iPhone since I did most of the walk with the other camera. We're going to do this one with this. ProRes is enabled. So let me get an idea of getting any better information clarity was. Yeah, you don't have to use the back camera. I mean, you can easily use the front camera and uh, you still have your normal grip on this thing. So it works out pretty decent for that as well. So. Oh, it's a refreshing morning, that's for sure. Kind of, uh, probably going to freeze my butt off a little bit trying to do this patio thing. Kind of trying to decide what I want to do first. If I want to try to take down the canopy, get everything out from underneath it and take it down and get the patio cleared off and then empty the shed, that might be the, the order I do things. Alrighty. Well, the Bluetooth seems to be working a little bit better. It's a little slower than I remember the other ones connecting. But it is connecting by itself. It's not making me forget the device. Tree one, tree two, tree three. Oh, they got plenty of trees around here. Ugh. And a basset hound. Ultra wide here too. See how that new uh, new 48 megapixel sensor works. Being right underneath them, challenging. It's like from back here, you still see a lot of the green, but when you get underneath and over in that direction, you get a lot of the the orange. Right here. Try to keep an eye on Bassett Hound because she's walking in front of me. This is where the phones kind of play a crucial role, is the fact that you have multiple lenses. You know what I'm saying? With the uh, action, you can get this whole thing, but if I switch back, voila, there's the whole tree. Are we doing anything interesting there, Puppy Poo? Mm -hmm. All right. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, well, you brought me out here, so I'm just out here. My baby girl. Yeah, good news is she is eating. Um, and I'm, I got to look. She did a, a boom boom in the yard last night. I got to clean up, but i going to see if there's any plastic wrapper in there from her. She's like, okay, I'm done. You're making fun of me. I'm going home. Man, that thing is warm for being on one. Way warmer than it was the other night. Uh, Tim's like, you didn't take your the, the stickers up. I can't get these off. They won't peel off. So <laughs> I'm giving up trying. Alrighty, I have you on the tripod. I am actually going to put you outside the fence, raise the action handle all the way up and do like a, a high shot of this. But I think I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to actually do the patio first. Um get it all knocked down and then bring everything out from the shed and then reorganize because I don't exactly know what the table's probably not going in the grill right now I think I'm going to leave out the bird cage will go in the chairs I don't think we got them in last year but I'm going to try to empty a lot more out this year so a lot of this stuff is going to probably end up sitting along the fence line for a bit um, when I get everything cleaned up, then we're going to start un pulling the fence posts out and opening it up so I can blow all this crap out, trim real good for one last time, I think. Might have to trim again, I don't know, but try to get all the leaves and debris out of here. Um, I did 
Uh, let's see if I can just take you guys with me quick. I love the magnetic mounts. They work out so nice. So that uh, <clears throat> one adapt. Oh god, that's really dark. So that clamp I got, I have a Joby thing that's for one of the uh, heads I got. And I right now the four is on there, but I'm probably gonna end up putting the five on there because it's um, a little bit better for low light, even though I do have LEDs in here. So, but this thing switched over to 30. Have I been running in 30 all day? Uh, well, well, if I have, oh well. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get rid of a lot of junk that's in here and get this thing cleaned up real nice. I think Terry just got home, but this is the menagerie I need to get out of here. I got umbrellas, I got shovels, that way the snow shovels come to the front for bad weather. Plus I have the electric snow shovel in here, uh, brush for the car, so a lot of work to do here. Nope, we gotta poop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably be messy. Why is there 54? Hey, yeah. Mm, looks like they've drained the lake. Big time. Priya! 
Come on. One pulled me forward, one pulled me back. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be off this real quick. Okay. Just a quick stop at the 54 side. I'm hoping by Sunday there's a lot more color. But the 54 is just... It is drained. Because this is normally full of water down here. And it's down really far. Because normally it's up around that rock line there. What? What? What are you doing? Oh, now I'm shooting your face. That stupid message in my way, I didn't, wasn't shooting you. Mateo, what are you doing? <laughs> Waiting for mommy to come out. All right, we are at our favorite hoagie spot in Jersey Shore. We have made a lot of miles. Let's take a look at the mileage here today. Now, mind you, this is from the Montoursville gas station. 122.4. Uh-huh. All right, so what, this is Dagasano's. Mm, cute little place. But their food is so good. Their hoagies are so amazing. I'm getting myself a whole roast beef. Well, Terry treated. So, oh, there goes puppy barking. So Dagasano's Pizza and Subs in Jersey Shore. I highly recommend it. If you live in the area, 398-3544. You can call ahead. They are delicious. Really nice people, too. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think we're done for the night. I uh, go home and eat, and I will see you guys in the morning. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night. Stay safe.